everyone, Kaladu here and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. So today we are renovating the house from my Get to Work series. This is a little bit of a spoiler, but I decided to upload the renovation before I upload the episode, which will be coming out on Friday. I know that's a little bit of a time difference, like span between each of them, but um, it, the reason why is because I can't really upload my videos the way I would like to because as uh, as I am speaking right now in this video, I am actually at the beach right now, um, <laughs> probably at the beach, I hope I'm at the beach, having fun in the surf or whatever, I don't know, in the pool, I don't know what I'd be doing, but... Yeah, I'm going to be, I am on holiday by the time this goes up is what I'm trying to say here. And um, right now I've just been um, pre-recording all day and the reason why I sound a little bit tired or a little bit like um, scattered is because it is like 1am here. It's actually 2am. I didn't realize that an hour had gone by. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start talking about the actual video now. I'm really sorry about that, but I will be back next Friday. So I'm really excited to still bring you guys some content while I'm gone. This room that I'm working on right now is actually Nadia's. Um, the reason why I have, actually, I don't want to tell you guys the reason why I am uh, renovating the home and why we have so much money, but I'm guessing you guys will be able to find out for yourselves by just looking over on the sidewalk over there. Please don't look. Don't look over there. Try and keep it a secret. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just working on Nadia's room. It's all nice and fresh. Fresh and green. I love it. It's all leafy. Alive. I definitely do like that theme. Um, I have all of the new stuff from Spa Day and I adore all of the new furniture. Everything in Spa Day is just amazing and I'm just excited to see what EA has to offer in the future because it just seems like they're getting better and better at making content for us. Not just furniture, also like hair and clothing, the textures on everything is getting better and better. So I don't know why I haven't cut this part out, but obviously I walked away from the computer. This room that we're just about to work on is Ismin's room. Oh my goodness, I should have cut this part out, apparently, but anyways, in this room, um, I do make it a little bit larger, I take out some of Ismin's um, science-y stuff, I probably should have uh, left it in there, but this room's kind of difficult, it's very weird, and it doesn't like, uh, I don't know, it's... It doesn't really work with the whole, like, the roof. You can't really change the style of it, the shape of it much because of the roof. But, oh well, oh well. I do figure it out eventually. And, um, yeah, so now I'm back finally. As you can see, a double bed would look nice in there, but it just doesn't quite fit. It's really hard to kind of make things fit in this room, as I said. And the way that I figured it out is to pull it that way. I was trying to pull the room the other way and, um... Now we have all of this extra room in Nadia's room, so because of that I had to get rid of that three panel window that I actually really liked, but then we just replace it with these single ones. I still think it does the job and looks nice. And of course, with those lovely green, um, lovely green, what am I trying to say here? Curtains, curtains, that's the word I'm looking for. My brain is so tired today. Oh man, it's very late here in Australia right now. Um, oh yeah, and then I put in this cute little um, seat here. I'm not sure what they call it. They're called CTs, CETIs. I'm, I don't know the official name of them, but to me, they're kind of just like a footrest. <laughs> That's the way I see it, but they like a they're like a poof. I think poof is the official name of it cuz Ethan's mom has one in her sunroom and she calls it the poof. So, um now we're working on Ismin's room again and I love how the windows perfectly fit with the bed and then we have this extra little rectangular space on the side here. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it into a 
into a like desk study area. I think I end up making it into more of a um, more of a place where you can kind of get ready, um, a wardrobe sort of area. I love how I use this stool as the side table. I have been really getting into doing that lately. Unfortunately, you cannot put lights on them. That would be so cool if we could, but we can't. I, th I think I put some books on there. Yeah, I put some books and they look really nice on there. And yeah, I really like the look of this room. I changed the walls to be a lot darker. And just so then they're not so girly, that's not really another spoiler, but I don't want to, I don't want to, um, give anything away, but, um, I put in this rug also. I think this room ends up being my favorite room out of the whole house. I spend a lot of time in bedrooms, um, if you guys haven't noticed. These shelves look very neat too, I like them. I like the pattern I put them in. And um, the last bedroom that I do for Anya, uh, unfortunately, I don't spend as much time in there as I should have, but um, you can kind of tell the difference between this room and the next one. Oh yeah, I really like the style of this one because it's alternative and it kind of just suits me and that's also why it just worked. It just like flowed, you know, like when you're decorating and sometimes it just flows and you know exactly what you want. That's what I felt with this room. It was kind of difficult with other rooms because I didn't feel it. And sometimes with The Sims, you never know, walking away from the game for like an hour or so, sometimes that is enough to kind of bring back inspiration, I feel. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling on about that. Now we are going to work on this other corner. I've been moving around these tables and things. I wanted to put a mirror in here, most definitely. And I just kind of was trying to figure out how I was going to have a um, table that was both, fe not feminine, but a table that would be both genders. So I decided to put that one. I really like how industrial that wardrobe drawer set looks. I think they're just drawers. And I love, love the new spa day mirrors. They're so beautiful, so pretty. Um, I was trying not to go into cheats for some reason. I have no idea, but I really didn't feel like writing out the cheats, so I was very stubborn. I was like, oh, I like the color of these red ones, but they're not merged, and it kind of looks weird that there's two of them, but in the end, I thought that the color kind of just brought, like, popped in the room. I really liked it, and I kind of was just trying to ignore the fact that they had two mirrors. I think they still look good. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. I think they look fine, in my opinion. Um, so that room's looking quite nice. I do realize that there is a wall that is totally blank. I put a mirror there to kind of expand the space a little. I totally stole that from a TV show, I swear. <laughs> and um, now I just put in this adorable spa day vase and branch. I think the branches have like little bells on them. They look like they have little bells stuck on the ends of the sticks. Very pretty and delicate. Um, now we're going to be working on Anya's room, which I had a lot of difficulty with. I'm not sure why this the shape of this room was kind of difficult to figure out how to organize everything. I don't know. Um, I was going for more of a chic look in this one, like chic, modern, monotones, obviously. We do have that slight lilac on the walls, but I have a feeling that I change it. Yes, I, I change it to more of like a bluish eggshell tone. I do like eggshell. That is like one of my favorite colors and has always been one of my favorite colors. Because if you guys have ever seen like an actual egg, which is like that pretty blue, it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful color and <laughs> I love it on these walls. Like the lilac was okay, but I think, I think the eggshell blue looks nice in here too. 
Um, excuse my voice. My voice is starting to go a little bit. Today I had, I had like chronic hiccups. My hiccups would not go away. Um, does anyone else get hiccups where it just won't go away and it makes you feel so sick? I get, my hiccups are like deadly. I swear. Um, so, just decorating in here, I had no idea what I was going to put on this side of the wall. I kind of just have, have a look around at the other rooms to get some inspo, but again, it's so difficult sometimes when you lose inspiration, but I really wanted to get back into my game and play because at the time I was recording um, a part. I was recording an episode, so I was a little bit impatient. I kind of wanted to just jump back in and record. Um, these mirrors look okay. I, th I'm not sure if I leave them like that. Maybe, maybe. I think I do, actually. They look alright. I like them. And these rocks that are also from Spa Day, I like them when they are, um, enlarged. I think they look really cool enlarged. Sometimes items don't look good when they are um, made bigger. I feel like um, the graphics are stretched, but I don't know. Some, some items it works, some items it doesn't. Kind of wanted to make this room feel a bit more science-y. Science is that a word? To feel more like alien, like outer space. So I added in that poster and then I just put in some random signs that I think I'm going to change because honestly, I had no idea what I was going to do for artwork in this room. We are quite limited on um, galactic style um, artwork that we can buy because you have to go and find it yourself. Like looking through a telescope, you can get all of the prints and things. But obviously we don't have any of them yet. So I've just <laughs> gone with some random things. Now we are going to be working in the lounge room. Um, I don't really work in the other rooms as much as I do in the bedrooms. I don't know why. I have always been a very bedroom decorator. I love bedrooms and I love kitchens too. You guys will notice that how much effort I put into my kitchen um, is totally uh, contrasted with how much effort I put into my lounge room. I don't know why lounge rooms don't really interest me. I love kitchens because I love cooking and I love going to sleep. I love resting. So of course I love to make my bedrooms look very comfy or welcoming um, in The Sims. We put this, I, I really like those chairs with that chess table. They really suit. I really like them. And oh, again, using Spa Day. I don't know how many times I have said that, but I am in love with that texture, um, with that texture pack. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Minecraft here. Um, <laughs> we're in the Sims 4 Collider. Wake up. Um, I really love this Spa Day. Um, stuff pack. It is amazing. It feels like a game pack, to be honest. Um, honestly, I feel like there was more content in Spa Day than there was an outdoor retreat. So, so excited about this um, game pack. I mean, about this stuff pack. I can't even talk right now. I'm just so tired. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't got spa day yet you definitely should look into it because it is so amazing i think you guys would really like it especially if you like furniture even some of the clothing is good the hairstyles are pretty okay um the clothing is more just like sporty so i don't know um, in this room, um, well, in the entire house, I didn't really change the floors or the walls very much, as you all probably have noticed. I set up this house originally to be a renovation, like, to be a furnishing build, actually, because, um, 
we didn't have enough money to have a lot of furniture but I wanted to put effort into making the walls and everything look nice so that's why I don't change the walls much at all I don't even change like the structure of the house much because going into this let's play I was like okay I want to build a house that we can kind of change over time and I think that's definitely what this house has turned out to become I'm really happy with how it's um how it turns out the end of all of this. I don't know why, but these counters did not want to go around the corner. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe because they're outdoor ones, but they didn't really fit. I love, I love, love, love this painting, but for some reason, unlike all of the other paintings, you cannot enlarge that one. It has like a weird shadow, which is kind of annoying because I would love to enlarge that painting because it's so gorgeous. Now this open plan kitchen is where we're at and I'm loving it. I always love those overhanging overhanging um, pots and pans. They look very nice. I do put in a huge dining table and it just takes up the entire room. I love it. This is definitely like a party house, well not a party house, but an entertaining house. Like you could definitely throw a party here or um, a dinner if you wanted to have like some friends come over or whatever. I think this room really, really is set out to entertain. I tried to put in some of these chairs, but I don't think they fit. I accidentally did delete the room there for a second, but thank God, thank God for going backwards. Oh man, I do, I leave in one stool there just for aesthetics. People do use it in the Let's Play now and then. Um, but it's kind of there just for aesthetics. Like I said, I put that cute little table there with the candles. And um, I try to put in some of the new lights, but they don't really fit. So I end up just going with the plain old base game stuff. And now we kind of just have the bathroom to do. I do, I do like put in some more rugs and things. I can't really fit any at the back door. So now we are into the bathroom. I don't really change anything much in here. I just upgrade what we already have because like I said, we have a lot of money. So why not upgrade everything, including the bathroom, which if you guys haven't been watching my Get to Work series, or if you have, you would know that all of my things, like all of the appliances, all of the plumbing things, keep breaking constantly. But yeah, um, here are the screenshots. I'm really happy with this renovation. Don't forget to check out the episode that will be coming out on Friday, guys. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night for this collider. I need to go to sleep. My voice hurts.